thought I'd try another thing with the 360 camera. It is a little tour of our RV from the outside. So this is where we keep our bikes. And we're currently doing some work in the roof, so we got our, our uh, telescopic ladder out. Makes it a lot easier to get up the back. This is our first main slide. This goes to our living room. This is our largest slide. And it takes a lot of maintenance to keep that one going. And if you wonder what that cord is coming out, is our Wii Booster. Uh, sometimes I park the car right next to us over here. And I'll just take that and connect it to the top of the roof of my car, or my truck. And I just run it out the window. Our steps. Um, Montana is really good about the four-step system. Um, so your last step can be a doozy sometimes. And it's really nice with the four steps. I really like the Montanas for that. We have tons of storage. This is a 3625 RE 2003 Montana. And uh, we do a lot of night shots. Sometimes uh, I can leave the... I just keep this tripod out here to put my uh, Brino time-lapse camera. That's another one of our slides to the bedroom. This is the one I told you had a leak. Um, the seam right here, along here, we thought it was something in here or something at the top, but it turned out that it had a slight separation in this area. So I just siliconed the thickens out of it, cured our problem, and I want to warn people with the Montanas that have that seam, as only on the seam on ours, on our bedroom uh, slide. Uh, our other slides don't have the same kind of seam. Watch and make sure it doesn't have any hairline cracks. And once again, all the storage. This particular slide is our kitchen. So this is houses our refrigerator. And uh, I haven't had any trouble with that. You might have noticed on a uh, Montana, they have the boom uh, septic. It's not that big a deal. Works just like all the others. I'm thinking about removing it. Between the two sides is where our hot water heater is. Had no issues with that. Everything's been great. This is our second to, to the biggest slide uh, for the living room. Um, no problems with this one whatsoever. You can see it's a little bit smaller than the one on the other side. And we come around here. This is where we fill up our water. And I like that they put the power cords in the back of the Montanas. And Montanas have reverse lights. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. And if you haven't got one yet, you should get yourself an RV tra Talk Radio or tra RV Travel Buddy sticker. <laughs> They're really nice. And it helps us out. Anyway, there's a tour of the outside of our Montana. Okay, guys. Some guy people always ask me about my truck. I'm not a truck expert. But I can tell you about this truck. What I do know. It's a diesel. It's a 2002 Ford F-350 Super Duty. It's called a Lariat Club Cab. It's the last of the 7.3 liter diesel engine. And I've been told time and time again by all kinds of places, never sell this truck. <laughs> um, ever since they moved from the 7.3, the 6.4 is where a lot of problems I understand. I don't know. I'm just telling you about my truck. My truck I've been very happy with it. It is a dually. Uh, it's worked really well for me and Sherry. It has 180,000 miles on it, and we did all those ourselves. It's pulled RVs since 2007, and uh, it's been a very good rig for us. Um, it also has exhaust brakes. We uh, also have a canopy for this truck, and. Uh, once again, got to make sure you get an RV Travel Buddy sticker, or these are uh, magnetic, by the way. And our hitch, we keep our stuff in here. We're going to change these boxes a little bit. And yes, you'll notice this truck does not have any dents on it, but certainly could use a bath. Once again, this is our truck. We're very happy with it. We'll probably never get rid of it. And uh, a lot of people, um, by the way, You'll hear this, and you probably won't believe me, but ours is a two-wheel drive. And I was actually told, and it's true, a two-wheel drive in a one-ton 
can carry 5,000 more pounds than a four-wheel drive. Now check the stats on that. I'm not an expert, but I've been told that time and time again, because I have a two-wheel drive, I can carry more weight than a four-wheel drive um, for um, how much load I can put in the back. So check it out, guys. Don't be so anxious to buy a four-wheel drive. One thing is they break more, two things cost more. So that's our truck. So we're in a park here in Redmond, and we got some guy feeding some geese and ducks here. We're gonna see if we can get them to come very close. So Cinder got a new friend, and she's just a puppy, and these two play together pretty good. So I'm going to risk putting my camera on the ground here. Come. Come, you two. Hey. Come here. So I'll put a camera. Come here. Hey, you two. Come. Guys. <laughs> oh, there goes again. And we're up again. Come. Come, you two. Come. Come here, guys. Come. You guys are playing together good. I bet for a puppy, huh? Oh. That was a fast little dog. Hey, Bo. <laughs> so the little dog's name is Bo. And of course, that's Cinder. Trying to keep up with a six month old puppy. Come here, you two. What you doing? Come here. Come on. Come here. Is that little puppy tuckering you out? Come here, you two. Come. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. Hey, Cinder. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Puppy kisses. Be good, guys. Be good, Cinder. Just a puppy, remember? Just a puppy. You guys are doing good. You guys are doing good. There goes the camera again. <laughs> These guys are tough on the camera. Sister's area is beautiful. Beautiful ranches out here. And uh, we can take a look around. Sorry about the wind. to RV Talk Radio. I'm Rob, your host. Welcome. Oh, well, <laughs> welcome to uh, the RV. This is where we do RV Talk Radio. Thought I'd give you a little 360 view of it. This is our 360 moment. Uh, let's give you an idea what we do here. We do a lot of our um, mixing of music and the soundtrack together here. Uh, we have a mixer here that takes care of our sound, allows us to uh, clear it up, and <laughs> we have cameras everywhere. So, um, we also keep our 360 here, and we also keep gimbals here, and you name it, we got it here. So this has been a 360 moment at RV Talk Radio. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm.